So I think what makes my design process so unique is that every mandala, that's that kaleidoscopic round piece of art that I create, begins with a photograph. The original ones began in sand, with stones and sticks, but mine always begin with a photograph. They're usually mine, but sometimes people send me images that they would like to have a scarf or an umbrella or something made out of that always begins with the mandala. So, what I do is I take that photograph. Oh, and you know what's really weird? So many people have sent me apps that go, here, this will make your job so much easier. All you gotta do is push the button and you have a mandala. Not exactly. Those little apps give you very, very low resolution mandalas. The other problem with those is creating exactly what I want in multiple layers. That's what I do. I take the photograph and then I dissect it, deconstruct it, and I'll make sometimes two, three, up to 10 different mandalas out of that same original photograph. Then I start layering them. That's all done in Photoshop. So I have all these mandalas all lined up and then I'll take one mandala that might be light and then put another dark one on top of that and then I'll put another light one on top of that. And by doing this light, dark, light, dark, and then this, it's like a, a smooth texture and then a very rough texture, it's something that I just see and I'll create as I'm designing this in Photoshop. Well, that layering process and that color contrast, that is all 3D. These are special chromograph glasses that I use for my art that when the viewer looks through these, my art, whether it's the scarf, the umbrella, doesn't matter what it is, it's 3D. Now some are more 3D than others because of the colors or the contrast of the textures, but they're all 3D to some degree, which makes it really fun. So that's another fun and unique piece of my design work. Well, what's interesting is that not every mandala or every photograph can be created into a mandala. So I have experimented many times, like with um, the Grand Canyon. It's this huge, vast photograph. Well, I could not make one mandala from my photographs of the Grand Canyon. That was a trick. So I have to think, create, deconstruct, and then reconstruct. And it's with those layers when they all confuse together in Photoshop, that's when I can put them onto a scarf or an umbrella, or I can take multiple mandalas like this one. This has 35 different wine bottles that I created for a wine festival that benefited children with disabilities. So there's no limit to what can be done, no limit at all. And it doesn't matter if it's a city. Sometimes people will send me pictures of their daughters who just got married in beautiful bridal gowns and they want a beautiful scarf as a memory. Or there's a 50th wedding anniversary or a family reunion. Sometimes they'll want me to do a family crest where I will take pictures of the grandchildren, the children, and then the grandparents, and then I will create mandalas out of each of those, layer them, and we've got a family crest mandala. It is endless what can be done, and I think that's what makes my process so unique. But I'm gonna show you a few things that I do on the computer, just so you can get a better idea of how it all comes together. So come on back. So this is one of my original mandalas that I created of the Jackson Building, iconic building of downtown Asheville. This is the photograph, love the image. So then I take the image and I, one layer at a time, create the circular mandala. I have to actually cut the picture up. Then I, from this point, I can add another image, which is of City Hall of downtown Asheville, and I can layer that into this image. I can also create different images, the same exact photograph, but I will create different colorizations. 
that can all be done, all done in Photoshop. And then of course, this is the final image that ends up on the scarf uh, with a border. And that's the next thing that I will do. I will add borders and I will add segmented borders and layered borders. Um, so this is just the Jackson building. Then this is a typical bride picture that someone will send me. And then I will take maybe there are two pictures, so I will take the picture of the um, bouquet and I will layer that as one layer. The bride is the inner layer. I'll take the other purple flowers and create another layer out here and then a border and then the bride and groom as the overlay for the border of the photograph and that's the scarf of the bride. This is a photograph of just dogs, and how do you ever create a mandala out of this? So what I did was I created a mandala out of each dog, and then layered those. This is the outer layer. This is the same dog that's on the inside, but I wanted her to have some equal time, so I put her in the outer border because you can barely see her. And then each dog got their own mandala and that can create a scarf or you could create a long scarf and create each mandala on the scarf. Now this was a fun project for the Diana Wortham Theater and I created a mandala out of each performer that was going to perform that year. This is another performer. Altogether I think there were probably like 12 to 15 different acts that I created for this scarf which then became a, um, a fundraiser and all of the donors got the silk scarf that was created. And this is basically what I do and how I do it. So this is the actual scarf and the mandala of the Jackson building on the scarf and then all of the other mandalas that I created of iconic downtown Asheville all layered onto one scarf. And that is my design process.